Hello guys, it's Luke Mead here and today in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to add Apple Pay to your WordPress WooCommerce website. Let's get straight into it. Here I am inside the WordPress backend inside of WooCommerce. So what we're going to be using today is a simple plugin that lets you plug in Stripe, which is an online payment processing platform, which then lets you plug in Apple Pay using Stripe. So we want to go to our WordPress site and head to plugins and click add new. In this case, I've already got the plugin installed on my website, but I'm just going to quickly show you what to look for. If you just search Stripe inside of Woo, inside of WordPress, it'll take you to the page with the results. Now, the one you're looking for is not the WooCommerce Stripe payment, but the one with the five star reviews called Stripe for WooCommerce. Download this one, it's a little bit better than the WooCommerce one. Now, once you have this downloaded, you'll see it pop up in the left hand side here called Stripe Gateways. Click on that. And the first thing we want to do is link this plugin here to your Stripe account. So sign up for Stripe. You've got to put in your bank details and that sort of thing. I've already done that. Once that's done, you can click here and in this case, it'll say click to connect for you. For me, I've already connected, so it says click to reconnect. And there you go, you can see my account there is connected. And in this case, I'm just gonna leave it because it's already connected. But for you, you'll have to sign in and create an account and link your bank account if you haven't already done so with Stripe. Stripe does have some fees. They are transactional fees, but they are super small and you've got to pay fees anywhere regardless. So there you go, they're 1.75% for domestic cards and a 30 cent domestic card fee and a little bit higher for international cards. So once you've linked that, let's have a look at the dashboard and let me teach you a few things. One, you can see there's modes, test or live. If you're in testing mode, it means you can put payments through any of these platforms here and the money won't actually come out of your account but WooCommerce will think that the payment has gone through and that will act like the payment's gone through. So this is a good place to test to see if it's all working properly and WooCommerce is taking the orders successfully. Once you go to live mode, then payments will actually go through and will end up in Stripe where the money ends up. Other than that, you don't need to worry about this sort of thing. You can test your connection here to make sure that you are connected to Stripe. You can see I was connected successfully and I'm in test mode, which is cool. So once this is all done, you want to head to the Apple Pay section. And all you've got to do is hit enable and that's going to enable it. And then you want to register your domain, clicking this button here. And this is going to tell Google or going to tell Apple that this website domain is now available for Apple Pay. If you want more advanced instructions, just hit this documentation button above <coughs> and you can see it teaches you how to register your domain. So we just did it with one button click, but you could also go into Stripe, click on the settings, click on Apple Pay and add in a new domain. In this case, we did it with one simple click of the button. Now down here, we can adjust what we want to call it. We can give it a description. We can change what visa and how it looks. We can ch change the charge type. We can just choose where to display where we want the Apple Pay to appear. So on this page, we've got it selected so that it's going to appear on the product page. This means when you're on the product, you can click pay of Apple Pay and it'll check out for you using Apple Pay. Obviously, we have to have it on the cart page in case people add it to their cart and want to pay with their, on the cart. But we can also add it on the top of checkout and on the mini cart. I recommend leaving it on these two pages because that's gonna be great for your conversion rate. Then the bottom here, we can adjust the styling settings. So we can adjust whether we want it to be black, white, how the lines look like, we can adjust what the checkout button says, whether it's buy with Apple Pay or check out with Apple Pay. We can also adjust the cart button. 
So overall, this way of installing Apple Pay is super easy to use and add to your WooCommerce and WordPress website. Make sure you've got this enabled. If you don't have this enabled, you won't see Apple Pay on your WooCommerce website. So make sure you've got that enabled. Make sure you test it first by having it in test mode and putting some payments through. Keep in mind guys, you do have to be on a mobile device with Apple Pay installed to see Apple Pay. So you need to be on an iPhone or an iPad with your cards linked to it to test it. Once you've tested it, you can chuck it into live mode and you're good to go. I've used this plugin thoroughly and it works as it does. It's bloody bulletproof, I love it. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Thanks so much for your time today. Keep well, ciao ciao.